In this question, we will look at solving simultaneous equations that use logarithms. The two equations given are log of x to the base 3 plus log of y to the base 3 equals 2 and log of 2y minus 3 to the base 3 minus 2 times the log of x to the base 9 equals 1. Now, to do these type of questions, we first need to convert both equations to equations in x and y only. In other words, we need to get rid of the log terms. So let's consider the first equation. As before, we need to write both sides as a single log of the same base, and then we can equate the two expressions. So here, we will need to convert the two to a logarithmic expression to the base of 3. Now, from the laws of logarithms on page 21 of the log tables, any natural number can be written as the log of the base to the power of the natural number. So here, we could write that, the log, uh, that 2 is equal to the log of 3 squared to the base of 3. So we could rewrite the equation as follows. Now, again, from page 21, we know that the, the log of x times y is the same as the log of x plus the log of y. So here we could, rep we could replace the log of x plus y as the log of x times y. So now that both sides are a single log of the same base, we can equate the two expressions. So here we can write that xy is equal to 3 squared or 9. So cross multiplying we get x is equal to 9 over y. So now let's consider the second equation. Now, once again, we need to convert this equation to an equation in x and y only. And once again, we see the 1 on the right-hand side. So, as before, we can use the law on page 21, and we can say that 1 is the same as writing log of 3 to the power of 1 to the base of 3. So, we could rewrite the equation as follows. Now, one of the terms on the left-hand side is to the base 9. So we will need to convert this to the base of 3. Now to do this, we use another law from page 21. And this is the change of base law. And what we do is we write down the new base that we require, in this case log of a to the power of x, and we divide by the log of the original base. So here we write down what we want, which is the log of x to the base 3, and we divide by the log of the original base. Now, 9 is 3 squared, and log of 3 squared to the base of 3 is 2. So finally we get that log of x to the base 9 is log of x to the base 3 divided by 2. We substitute this back into the original equation. The 2's will cancel, and we're left with the following. Now, once again, the log of x minus the log of y is the same as the log of x over y. So applying that here, we could write uh, the log of 2y minus 3 over x to the base 3 is equal to the log of 3 to the base of 3. So once again, we can equate the two expressions on either side, and we're left with 2y minus 3 over x is equal to 3. Cross multiplying, we get 2y minus 3 is equal to 3x. So we now have two equations in x and y which we can solve. So we substitute x, which is 9 over y, from equation 1 into equation 2. We then cross multiply, and we get 2y minus 3 times y equals 27. And if we expand the left-hand side, we get 2y squared minus 3y is equal to 27. Bring the 27 across, and we have a quadratic equation, which we can factorize as follows. So we get 2y minus 9 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. So this means that 2y minus 9 is equal to 0, or y plus 3 is equal to 0. And this means that 2y is equal to 9, or y is equal to 9 over 2. Or, on the other side, y is equal to minus 3. But y can't be equal to minus 3, because y can't be negative, because we can't have the log of a negative number. So we could discard this solution. So therefore, y has to be equal to 9 over 2. So if we substitute this value back into equation 1, we get that x is equal to 9 over y, which is equal to 9 over 9 over 2. 
and the nines will cancel and we get x is equal to 2. So the overall solution is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 9 over 2.